This is what I've been fighting for since day one. Jennifer Norris is medically retired from the Air Force. She suffers from PTSD and not because of combat. I was raped and I was assaulted and threatened. By not one, but four different military men. Military law requires sex assault reports to go to a commander. I was too scared to tell his boss because I thought they were best friends. Cases like this served as motivation for this bipartisan group of lawmakers. This is a critical bill to stop an epidemic. Instead of a commander deciding whether or not to take a case to trial, this new legislation puts that decision in the hands of a military judge. It's something Defense Secretary Chuck Hagel supports. There are some tears in the front row over here. I hope to God they're tears of hope. Yes, they are because we have heard you. This week, the Army announced it's investigating a sergeant in Texas accused of sexually assaulting another service member and running a prostitution ring. More proof that this is a, a real fundamental change is necessary. We're not going to stop till we fix this. Lawmakers believe this bill has a good shot at getting through Congress. Hagel and military leaders already signaled there is room to adjust parts of the code of military justice. In Washington, Kyla Campbell,